Hey guys, your host Valerie Greenberg here from Crosstown Connections, and I am here with the marvelous Miss Marilyn Michaels, okay? This woman is a comedian, she's an impersonator, she's an actress, she pretty much is a showstopper. Well, it's so nice to be here, and Bella Magazine did a wonderful review of my new book, which is called How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life. And it has something to do with cooking, but with not cooking, but it's mostly about my life and about my relationships uh, and my experiences working with, uh, uh, my son is here, Mark is here, and he, he's the co-author of this book. I mean, you have created such a beautiful life for yourself and have such an impressive body of work, yeah. but you've collaborated with names like that you just mentioned that are in your book. I mean, what, what's that like? No, you say an impressive body of work. And as a comedian, the first thing I think of is, you know, uh, Mae West, the old movie star from, you know, saying, oh, I wish I had an impressive body. That's much more important. But yes, an impressive body of work. So for me, I'm kind of curious how comedy has helped you connect with the, that type of talent. Because that can be intimidating for anybody when you're in a room working with those types of people. Yeah, it is. And the, and the thing about, about comedy is that it's taken me, I started out as a singer. I'm basically a singer. It's taken me a lifetime to be really loose and to go with, with the moment. It takes a lot of courage to do that. I mean, to do with Joan Rivers, oh, sure, uh, 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 yeah, right. You know, I mean, it takes courage and not a little desperation, too. And it takes skill, and it takes craft, and it has taken me all of my life to get to a point where I can be free enough to do, to do some comedy and have some fun. So, darling, well, I try. What can I tell you? <laughs> What's your favorite impersonation? I mean, you can do so many. Well, I used to love to do Elizabeth Taylor. And, and, you know, I mean, I hope people still remember Elizabeth Taylor. I was never fat. I was only bloated. Uh, Joan Rivers, oh, sure. I like to do Dr. Ruth Vestheimer. Oh, do you? Do you remember? Yes, very cute. Uh, Bette Midler, oh, my dears. Oh, heavens. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. I couldn't find this place today in the rain. It drove me crazy. I see her wearing your galoshes. Good girl. Um, who else? Um, so many. I mean, I do maybe a hundred different different characters. You know, again, our show is all about connecting. So you as a son, this is so awesome. I love this. Your mom, you, you're on the street, you get into a cab, and she says something funny to the driver that shocks them because, like, they see this gorgeous 40-something sexy woman talking to them, Hello. totally out of the ordinary. Hello. <laughs> and, and they don't expect to get what they get. I mean, what has been the most shocking response from a cab driver, let's say? Ah, uh, well... I remember one story. We're in a taxi, and she has no patience at all. She has no patience at all. And so she has to convey. The word she was looking for was, take this way to go through Central Park so that we could get to our destination. This becomes condensed into her chaotic brain. It's the only way to put it. As if it's go in, go in. <laughs> the taxi driver has absolutely no idea what's he talking about. And then the Joan Crawford freak out. And then that was it. And I think, and it was left, it's always up to me to play the good cop. I'd be like, sir, you're doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you for your service. That, that is correct. <laughs> it was really good. No, no, he, he's so polite. And I'm just really, yeah, he's really polite. And he's nice to taxi drivers. And I'm particularly hard on taxi drivers. I'm just mean. And I lose it so easily. So he, I think he keeps me kind of kind of grounded. I, re I really do. And last but not least, because this show is about connecting. So what do you, you, you say right now that you're brave because of the fact that you know who you are and that's why you're not afraid to be your authentic self. What would you say to people how connecting and comedy can help them be their authentic selves and connect with people that they might not necessarily know or are intimidated by? Like, do you ever go out on a date and guys want to like impress you by telling you jokes? And they're like, not funny at all. Did you ever have that? Happens all the time. Yeah, all the time. And I want to tell all the guys out there, if there are any guys watching Bella magazine, you don't have to tell jokes. You just have to be really attentive and charming and a little bit cool, not too pushy, you know, and intelligent and be rich. <laughs> A, a fat wallet always helps. <laughs> it helps to be like, oh, yes, rich is good, right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And one more time, tell us where to get your book. 
the book. Oh, hello. How Not to Cook for the Rest of Your Life um, on Amazon.com. And it's so funny. It's like, oh my God, you will, I guarantee it, you will embarrass yourself if you read it on the bus or a train. And that's, that's a pretty good review. Awesome. I love it. Well, thanks so much for being with us. You're a doll. Mm -hmm.